Thika Town, one of the fastest growing industrial towns in Kenya. The growth of Thika has had greater influence in the growth of other small towns. Seven kilometers away from this urban center is a small and a humble town, Wetaithia. The town itself holds a startling story of its many crime histories stretching back through time. So I decided to set out to try and look into the current status of affair and the livelihood in this estate. This is a day in Wetaithia. admit that its proximity to Dika Superhighway gave this estate a special feel, but I knew that beyond the alluring scenery lied a dreadful crime history. Upon arrival, I noticed that the estate was very vibrant. At one point, a matatu would honk and at another point, pedestrian would be yelling at one another. All these fuss fueled my agitation to understand the estate. is one of the words in Juja constituency in Kiambu County, commonly known to many as the village. Wetedia has an approximate population of about 25,700 individuals that seem to be increasing day in, day out. sought to meet with my buddy Freddy for the ultimate Wetedia hardcore tour. I wasn't quite familiar with most of the places in Wetedia, but at least I knew one of his favorite spots where we would easily meet.
The first fun area Frederick wanted to show me was the pool table spot, which he admits to going frequently. He also admits to it being one of his favorite locations to hang out, as he would occasionally meet most of his friends and have fun. Meeting some of his friends was amazing. They offered me a challenge I couldn't possibly deny. The guys wanted me to play one game with them, not forgetting that this was the first time I was going to participate in this game. Despite the short tutorials the guys gave me about the game, there were so many questions running in my mind like, what are these balls even made of? Was this even supposed to be fun? Yeah, whatever. There was so much positivity around us that I didn't possibly imagine anything going on this. So I chose to seek the knowledge of a pool geek to understand more about what goes on here. Yes. What's up? Any cool is there? Yeah. This game is a kind interesting sana. Not Sorry. just the it as a pool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Naka interesting sana. So, I'm saying that you can how long you go pro. I need to do it as a result. It depends on the people. Work to work. Oh. Yeah. So, much as a for how long have you? I have like uh, 10 years. Na 10 chese. years? Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. You're mingi sana. See, mingi. Kuna wazi wa mecheza mnyaka mingi. Tangu zianze. Iva type of gamba. Yeah. Na naona sana sana huku ni vijana. Vijana wana patikana. Ama kuna pia wazi ya ama. Nikina nani wana patikana huku sana? Sahi. Maybe unaiza pata vijana wako inje. Aha. Wana kuja. Lakini wazi wa kutoka kazi pia. Wana kuja. Kwa so wazi pia wana patikana huku. Yeah. Seme per day una spend time hapa kiasi gani? Ita depende uko free masa magapi. Because ukitoka kazi, si ndi unakuja. Ukiwa free. Sasa unakuja kuzi relax. Relax. Hii neza tumika kama a form of gambling? Yeah, it's easy to gamble. Una bet na mtu? Oh, actually ni gambling. Una cheza kama gambling? Yeah. Na ukipata rafiki yako, muna neza cheza kama free. Muna fungua, tu muna jienjoy. So unakuja na rafiki? Yeah. Ama uneza mpata? Uneza mpata. Uneza kuja na mtu wanataka gamble. Unaweka yako, unaweka yako. Na pia nimeona leo, hizo maballs ziko na number. Yeah, sizi ni numbers. Kuna mtu wame niambia, sizi lazima ufate numbers. Ya. Ebu tu eleze tu ya kwanza. Unaingiza gani? It depends. Hizi game ziko type mingi. Una ya kupanga triangle. Una ya kupanga vile ulipanga hivyo. Una ya kupanga vile ulipanga hivyo. Una ya kupanga vile ulipanga sideways. Ya. Kupanga 19, 19 months. So, munaanza na number three. Number three, tunaita six. So, tuweka 3, unakuja 4, naendelea hivyo, baka 15. Sae mwisho inafaa kuwa? 15, lakini kuna hii number 1 and 2. Hizo tunazita number 16 na number 17. So, ya mwisho ni number 2. Ni number 17 sasa. Ok. Ok, so, hii place ina ilitengo na nani? Nani ya na owner hapa? Hapa ni kwa mwenyewe. Mwenyewe, kuna mtu walikuja kwa mandisha. So, ya katena. Analipo kama rent. Ok. So, actually ni nyumba ya mabati lakini mkana rent. Ya. Alijenga yake lakini analipia kiwana. After getting to know how some of the youths spend their time around this place, the guys decided to show me something cool. Wow.
the amazing view of the estate from one of the tallest buildings in Mutedi. In the background lies the sprawling Dika Superhighway. On the far east of the estate is the marvelous Kilimambogo Hills. All this stunning view had me asking a few questions. Safaricom, Niliskianga, by the way, Niliskianga, Safaricom, I recognize the TV camera location. Una Kirian Kwani. Okay, see, I can recognize the TV. Ni Jua Kuna, home five and in a sub meals, speed and new network in a matter a lot for different localities. So, Ukiaka, home net, home net to make a number of our TV. But then Safari Com in the set is I the record sitting the home net. In that I would like a fiber cable and okay, fiber jafika it is. So you make a copy? Okay. Currently in Africa you make a very uko. Then you can look at some parts of Dika and going like you with A but place it in a developed to sell. So na okay yeah exactly na unafikiria je dika hayo according to you dika hayo ime ime change aje conditions za kuishi with it dika suka hayo ime sogia watu wengi hapa dika mhm eh kuanzia unaona excuse me watu wengi wameweka biashara zao hapa kwa barabara watu wanaje wapata riziki kwa hiyo biashara ukiangalia pia vijana wengine walikuwa wana randa randa hapa kwa watu siku hizi wanapata kulingana na wewe unafikiria nini imesaidia kupunguza uhalifu wa TV ukiangalia hoteli siku hizi utapata makanisa mengi zimejengwa au kanisa tatu watu wamejenga mungu siku hizi so na pili mesaidia sana so vijana wanaenda kanisa Let me say with Taide had not grown that much by 2008 when we came. There was only one house here, but Marafa had already begun growing and that's where we settled. At around 2015, Vitege began experiencing significant growth. Later on, when the highway was built, this place grew even more. Okay. 
The highway has greatly contributed to the development of this place. Many houses and residential areas have been built, attracting many tenants. We set up kiosks for businesses last year due to increased population. Businesses thrive due to easy transportation as we are close to the superhighway. Products are brought in large quantities and all kinds, but most people are not organized. There is no unity between traders and the city council. The designated areas for businesses are less and the road floods sometimes hindering businesses. We construct our structures above the ground to avoid structural damage. Wotaide is good in the business aspect in residence. It is easier to travel due to the highway being easy and accessible. We would like a market place built for us to help us. This would enhance our sales and increase the economy of Wotaide. Due to the superhighway growth, students from nearby areas like Ika, Juja and KU come and rent houses here. The highway also improved the aesthetics of this area. The market standards can improved by hardening drainage systems and tapping the water. We need fair and organized elections so that we can have our own leaders who will be voicing the people's issues. These things will help ease the problems in the area. Nigeza, 
tukahota gutondeko na nigetha ndugu ithie na mbere tondu ingikura no ikoro ikindu kimwe kia bata muno thini wa ithini haria hangi Uh, <laughs> 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 I advise all who would want to start a business in Australia that any business can break here. I would highly recommend businesses in Wolverine since they are very good. My name is Florence Jenga Kamau from Gatuna. With the ongoing drama at the marketplace, business opened and closed. They come, they compete, they go. Daniel Mwagi. Na umeishi wetezi ya tangu? Wetezi ni meishi saithi ya miaka ishirini. Na nini imechange since the time uishi kumara ya kwanza ya tisa hii? Imechange sana sababu samani hakukua na maedareo. Security ilikuwa baya. Lakini taku usupahayo ilikuja. Mwabu imekua improved. Kijana wegi wamepata kasi. Tumepata wageni wegi sana. Kasa mwabu ya manyubu watu wamekaudishua wegi. Kumekua na watu wegi sana wageni. Kwa hivyo tunaona haya ni maendeleo. Hata soko wale wameweka soko, wamepata watu wa kuwanunulia. Sababu soko hayo imekuja ni imesaidia kabisa. Okay. So, unaona ngaji weta hivya, ungi advise mtu wa ahami huku ama... Itezi yenye ni kusuli. Siku baya. Sababu, chakula itezi inapatikana kwa ulahizi. Sababu watu kuja kutoka muranga, kutoka huku pade ya gatudu, wanakuja wanarete chakula. Kwa hivyo, Wetezi ni kusuri ya nyewe. Mutu wa kichi wetezi, hakuna stress mingi, hakuna ni nyingi. Since the time that Thika Highway wasn't built, and now that it has been built, what is the difference that you have seen? Kuna cheji kubwa sana. Kwa sababu wakati hakukua na super highway, mwabu haikuwa mzuri vile. Kulikuwa na chida, sababu watu hakuwa na access ya kuigia hapa. Kulikuwa kwa hata security haikuwa mzuri vile lakini kutoka ikuje mambo mingi imekuwa sawa security si baya vile na mambo mingine mingi tena kuna wageni wengi sana unajua biashara hapa ni manyumba kodishwa manyumba mambo ya kodisha manyumba hiyo ndio biashara na ni mingi sana na inaenda mzuri okay eh. na so the current state of security size what does that look like size si baya sana Siba sana, ata igawa kuna tuvitu kidogo 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 Kwa mahali kuna watu wege kukosagi mtu mwaja muharifu Lakini siku ba kama samani Kwa hivu naeza kutebea kutoka wa barabara Na uvike baka huko mjo bila kuulizo zwari Kwa zamani hakukua hivu Kulikuwa na machida migi migi ya security We have met one of the ladies in the market Haka tuambia that watu badu uchomo Mtu wa akiiba Is this true? It is not true kwa sababu sisi tumewaelimisha sana kama mimi sasa na wengine wenzangu wengine na na pia polisi tunasaidia mpaka na chief na sub chief sababu mtu akichikwa si mzuri kuchoma mtu sababu juzi tu kulikuwa kesi nyingine ile incident nyingine ilikuwa hapa kijana alikuwa ametebera mchana akaenda kwa kwa kabaka saa saba ya usiku sasa wakakosana akamwambia atoke na amevunga kwake amulucha ije na wakati alimulucha ije sasa kwenda unajua lazima pade geti yatoke pade ile sasa wakamuchika kaa ni mwisho tulimuoko hapa agechomo tukawabia si mzuri kuchoma mtu na uwezi kujua huyu ni nani kuna askari askari ana ujuzi ya kuuliza mtu maswali sababu pia kuna mtu mwingine hapa tu chini alikuwa amekuja 
kutabela mtu mwingine rafiki yake naye pia alichomwa na wakati kulichukua kulimuonekana atakuwa mwanajeshi alikuwa ametoka Nairobi mm. kwa hivyo tumewaelimisha ni msuri walete kesi kwa polisi ikiwa mmeona mtu suspect wanamchika wanamlea kwa polisi sababu polisi ndio amesomea hiyo mambo ya kuhoji mtu tujue mtu ni kabila gani sababu ile ikikuwa kama hii kuna kuwa na wageni wengi sana na wote hawajuani eh wengine ni vijana vijana wamekuja wachana wengine hawajuani sasa lazima tukue katika hali ya ukiona mtu uone amefanya kitu kibaya unyojua saigina za kuwa labda amekunywa kitu kikamharibu si kuiba ati akipanga kuharibu kwa hivyo ni mzuri kutumia askari sababu wako na niwegi e, unamleta pale anahojiwa anajulikana ametoka wapi na hiyo anafanya anafanya kwa nini si mzuri kuchika mambo mkononi atufanye ujaribu kuwa mtu hiyo ni baya sana unaweza kuwa mtu wa maana lazima tuseme labda ni student amesoma kutoka wakati alisaliwa amesoma amesoma yote ya, ya, ya primary amesoma ya secondary tena amesoma ya, ya university unamuua ni kuharibu mali yote hiyo pesa yote ametumia katuo wote sasa umeharibu na angekuwa daktari labda angekutibu wakati uko na ugonjwa aona sasa umejiharibia kile kiaweza kukusaidia kesho kwa hiyo si mzuri kuchoma mtu hiyo hmm. mambo ya kuchomana hiyo tulisema ikome na ikome kabisa na tukijua mtu anachomana pia anachukuliwa hatua kali sababu kuna serikali na serikali iko hiyo sio kazi ya mtu mraia wote sababu hajasomea hiyo kazi ya kuchika sababu mtu ngine anaweza kuwa na giraji na mwingine hmm. um, na have the churches help improve security in the area eh wachache hata hata na churches zimesaidia na wakati wa hubiri wanaenda wakihubiri watu wengine huokoka na waamini wanaamini Mungu na wakiamini Mungu na hiyo hiyo maro maro ya kufanya hiyo mabomu lakini kukunywa bagi kunywa nini na kunajua watu hata watu wengine huwa sio kupenda kwa kwenda kufanya uhalifu labda wamekunywa hiyo bagi sana akienda kufanya kitendo hata hajui hata hajui anafanya nini lakini akienda kwa church Uyo sasa ni mtu aweza akakuwa mtu hata akusaidia wale. Um what do you think of the youth who are living currently in Tanzania? Wale wanaishi hapa. Wale wa yuzu wako hapa ukionelea kama ukepatikana mahali. Kama hicho hapa iko hapa kadara kuna hapa ingezo nyingi na si bali ni hapa tu ngabo ile ya nini. Kutengenezwa mahali kama hall. Wanaweza kwenda huko wakacheza kitu, wakaona sinema wakaogea wakakuwa na mabotu ya kufanya sababu vijana wakikuwa wengi na wakosa mahali ya kufanya wakati hivyo wanapata nafasi ya kufanya kufikiria mambo mengine baya kwa hivyo wakikuwa na horo mahali naona kama wataweza fanya mzuri hmm. so if you were to change a few things within Wetavia um, what would be the things you want to change uh, things kama mabo eh, ile mabo nikionekana ikibadilisha ni kukuletwa mabo watu wafunzwe watu wafunzwe na waongerezwe sababu watu wengine wakikosa kazi wanakuwa desperate mwingine hmm. alitoka huko hana pesa ya kukula hana nini anaonelea kule atapotelea ni mahali ya kukunywa bagi kwa hivyo kama wafundishwe watu wafundishwe wanaweza kuwa watu wa maana nikionelea hiyo ndio ingewa cheji wana youth Mm. Um, now what is the one thing you want to tell someone who is younger than you um, advice wale watu wa kuniliko yes nige advice wao watu wa kufumilia sababu hata sisi wakati tulikuwa tunakuwa tulikuwa tuna machini na tulikuwa tunavumilia na tulivumilia baka na sasa tuko sasa tukapata mabibi na kulikuwa tuna chida na tuna watoto hata wengine wako university wengine wako mahali wameajiriwa na tulikuwa tu wakati tulikuwa vijana hakukuwa sio ati dunia inakuwa ati straight wakati wote wakati ile kwa na tushida kidogo na msuri ni kuvumilia hmm. leo kuko leo si vile kutakuwa kesho hmm. na hata hujui Mungu amekuwekea nini kesho ya kesho huwezi kuyasema hmm. kwa hiyo waza kuona una shida leo na kesho Mungu kuna kitu amekupagia kwa hiyo mimi kama ni advice wale wadogo nikiwaambia wao watu wa kuvumilia wao watu wakumbia na kusika advice kutoka kwa wale ambao wamesaeka kiasi. Na unaweza ongelea kuhusu bika highway kidogo because watu wanaitwa vijana 
Kamagera. Imesaidiaje vijana sana sana? Unaona hao watu wengine wana wanafanya kazi wale wale vijana wako huko kwa super high. Kuna wao wengine wanajisaidia hapo makanga. Na wengine wanakuwa wazuri. Lakini kati ya hawa kuna wengine ambao si wazuri. Wanaenda wana, wanapora watu kwa mfuko, masimu na maboygine. Sasa hiyo ndio inafanya waonekane ni wabaya. Si wote wabaya vile ikijukuzwa sana kuna wengine wazuri na wanafanya hiyo kazi wanaifanya kama ni kazi. Lakini kuna wengine mahali kunapo watu wengi wakipita watu tuseme 20, hakukosaki wawili wana mafikiri ya mabaya. Kwa hivyo hawa watu ni wazuri. Kama nikionelea hata pia wageogereshwa hata kama ni watu wa traffic. Ndio pia wao wanachuka hiyo. Sababu wengine labda wale wako pale ni kukosa wamekosa kazi. Kama wangekuwa na mahali ingine ya kwenda wageenda. Sasa hiyo ni nikionelea kama wageenda wageogereshwa hawa watu wako kwa stage au makaga ingekuwa ni sawa. Unaona ni kama imemaliza crime kwa vijana kuji involve huko. Eh haijamaliza sana sababu kuna wengine kuna wengine wanajivicha huko ukipitia hapo unasikia umeporwa simu yako ama umeweza ugeta umefikiria pesa yako okay saa swali la mwisho ni kama umwahi pata any umwahi umwahi usika na mtu kukuibia hivi ile wakati yote umeishi wetege eh kuna wakati mwingine nilikuwa kama miaka 10 na 10 ime imekwisha ama 12 hivi kuna wakati waizi walikuja hapa wakani wakapiga hiyo wakati huo nyumba ile tulikuwa tunaishi ilikuwa na milango ya bao sasa alikuwa akapiga milango na mawe wakati niposikia kwangu pia hakukuvujwa nikamwambia bibi yangu eh tufugue wajukue kile wanataka wakati hakukuwa kumejekwa hivi sasa unajua ukisikia wameingia baada ya wangangane waingie kwako ni heri wa wafugulie wachukue kwa kwa uzuri Niliwafungulia tu akachukua maguo ya watoto na yangu ingine ile ilikuwa mpya na hiyo mambo ikaenda hivi. Sababu ukichikwa na waisi ndio ni kwa operate. Uzipo kwa operate za kuharibu wanakuduka na kizu labda. Asante sana. Eh, tumeapishia. As the sun goes down, Wetedi remains one of the most reformed and a beautiful place to sight in. Every sunset marks the end of a fruitful day, bringing in new beginnings and hope to the people of this estate. The evening brings the end of my journey in Wetedi, and my experience was exhilarating.